Hi everybody, it's Dennis Foster from Foster's Yacht Services, located at Lauderdale Marine Center. We're over here in our shop on the east side, and we're going to go over a project here. We just have a 50-foot sea ray that we took the arch off, we removed all the wires from, and we cut the arch right down the, close to the base. What we're going to do is be hinging this so that the owner of the vessel can get underneath the bridge. So what happens is we hinge the arch, when he goes underneath the bridge, he'll pull the pins out, the arch will come all the way back, he'll go under the bridge, he'll put the arch back up and stick the pins in. So there's no height restrictions for the boat, as the bridge has a height restriction for where he lives. So if you follow me over here, you can see this is the other part now that we're beefing up over here. And if you come over here, you'll see Steve, our fiberglass guy. Steve, why don't you tell him what you're doing on there, um, on the inside of that arch after we cut it. Uh, what we're doing here, Dennis, is uh, we're beefing up the outer, the inner lip of the arch, and we're going to place some CUSA board, which is in the Mantex family, that has about 850 pounds of, of torque per square inch oh, yeah. as far as compression. And um, we're going to beef it up with that, and that's just going to enable us to put our hinges and not have a problem with our arch swinging backwards for the customer's uh, demand. And, uh, Snap it off, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, it won't snap off. And, um, if, and if you also look what the CUSA board is, this is CUSA board. And you can get this in all different kinds. You can get this in 24 pound, you can get this in uh, 6 pound, you can get this in 14 pound. And it's compressed fiberboard, waterproof. You can tap and screw right into it. So we use this to reinforce the inside of that, as Steve had alluded to here earlier. And that'll tighten it up and strengthen it and give it a good base for us to tap and drill our stainless steel hinge in. So when this goes back on the boat, and the, the guy will be able to go under any bridge, pin it back, put it back forward, put the pin back into it, and continue going on. All with the electronics on as well. When the arch goes back, we're going to do extension wires. So the wires go back with the arch, and then they go back in through holes and split loom fixtures. So until we got this together, well, we'll get the arch on. Part of our April videos, Dennis from Foster's Yacht Services, located at Lauderdale Marine Center, about our 50-foot sea ray that we're going to be hinging the arch, signing out.